Good, Good morning, morning Colts. Colts. I'm Atlas. And I'm Aiden. And this is KTV for Tuesday, August 30th, 2022. We all learned last year that when we are absent from school, it can be really hard to stay caught up on our schoolwork. But fortunately, here are some steps we can take when we're absent to make it a little easier. Check it out. Hey Colts, if you are absent from school, whether it's because you are sick or for any other reason, there are some steps you can take that will show respect for your teachers and also respect for your own education. If you know in advance that you will miss school, send an email to your teachers to let them know the date of your absence and if there's anything they would like you to do ahead of time. They might not have assignments for you in advance, but they can let you know if you should check Google Classroom or email them later about the work. Of course, when you are absent, if you are able to, Go ahead and check Google Classroom to see if there are any assignments you can do while you're away. When you come back from being absent, go to each of your teachers in person to get the work or ask any questions you might have. If you're absent on a B day and come back on an A day, take the time to go see your B day teachers on that day too. The longer you wait to check in, the harder it will be to catch up again. It's hard to keep up with schoolwork when you're sick or away from home, but following these suggestions will make it a little bit easier. Google Classroom and Gmail make it so much easier to stay up to date when we miss school. I know there are times when I am too sick to go to school, but I am well enough to do work at home. Thanks for those suggestions, Alan. We have introduced you to almost all our Kenilworth teachers the past few weeks here on KTV. While most of them teach in one department, like History or PE, we also have a small group of teachers who teach quite a few subjects. Let's meet them today. Wow, they have a lot of topics to juggle in their classrooms. Very impressive. Now let's check in on sports with Freya in the Sports Corner. Thanks, Aiden. Did you know that on August 30th, 1972, American women's 4x100 meter freestyle relay team made up of Shirley Babishoff, Jane Barkman, Jenny Kemp and Sandy Nielsen beat East Germany by just 0.36 seconds to get first at the Munich Olympics, setting a world record of 3 minutes and 55.19 seconds. Now in cult sports, girls basketball has just started this week. Hope whoever tried out made it to the team. Meanwhile, cross country is on their third week. Go Colts! Now let's get back to Atlas in the KTV studio. Thanks, Freya. In school spirit news from the leadership class, this Friday is Tropical Day. Take time now to find your best tropical attire to wear on Friday. But remember, no flip-flops. We don't want your toes getting stepped on on school. Those tropical outfits will be perfect on Friday for the icebreaker dance, the first school dance of the year. In Kenilworth Life School News, let's learn today how we can be show empathy and be empathetic here at home and at school. Empathy is an important life skill that we should use every day throughout our whole life. To show empathy, you have to have the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. You can show empathy here at Kenilworth in many ways. One of them is by validating others' feelings about certain subjects. That means if someone is sad about something, let them be sad. Don't tell them to cheer up. Empathy means to honor their feelings, even if you don't understand why they are sad. Another way to be empathetic is to actively listen to what others are saying. Showing empathy at home is also very important. A way you can show empathy at home is by talking to your siblings or parents about how they are feeling. Showing empathy to your friends is also important. A big way of showing empathy is by showing gratitude to the person who has opened up to you. Also, be supportive and encouraging no matter what they are feeling. Empathy is important because it's an amazing way to show that you care. It really can make someone's day better. Try to show your empathy everywhere. Be supportive and a great friend. It's interesting that empathy means letting someone be sad instead of trying to cheer them up. 
I can see how if I tell someone not to be sad that I'm not honoring or validating their feelings. Th thanks for those suggestions, Alexa. Well, that's it for today, Colts. Remember to check Google Classroom if you're empty, absent. Check e practice empathy at school and at home, and get ready for Tropical Day on Friday. And that's, that's KTV. KTV.